My name is Govan Armstrong. My philosophy when it comes to cooking is definitely keeping things as seasonal as I possibly can, keeping the food very approachable, simple, flavorful, and that's probably the secret to my success. What I love about grilling is you're working with live fire, you're working with raw product, it's the smell that it emits, it's cooking outdoors, it's indoors, it's you can travel, you can go camping and grill. It's one of my favorite ways to cook. So this is probably one of my favorite steaks right here. This is the whole culotte, and it's basically like the sirloin cap. I removed all the fat, removed all the silver skin, and it's really just one of the most flavorful steaks off that entire animal, so I really love it. So what I'm gonna do is just season it with a little bit of salt and pepper, and then just a little bit of this marinade right on top. Then we're gonna put it on the grill. So as you can see, I didn't put the culotte right at the hottest part of this grill. It's gonna take at least 10 minutes to cook, so we're gonna slow down that process by cooking it on the outside. The main secret to my grilling techniques is definitely taking your time on the grill. You wanna caramelize the meat or fish or whatever it is that you're cooking and really just slow that process down. The secret for getting the most flavor out of every bite is definitely seasoning your meat extremely well. If I'm doing something like chicken, most likely it would be a really nice dry rub of spices and anything that I can actually gather up that's gonna taste really good. So this is a beautiful organic chicken that we use. It's uh, Mary's or Jadori, doesn't really matter which, as long as it's a nice natural bird. And what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of spice mix here. This is white peppercorn, black peppercorn, a little bit of coriander, uh, some dry thyme. It's just a nice, simple dry rub. Obviously season both sides. All right, so now our chicken's nice and seasoned, and we're just gonna put it on the grill. One thing we're not gonna do is move it around a lot is we're gonna want that chicken skin to get really nice and crisp. And what's going to happen is that skin is going to protect the rest of the chicken from drying out. We're gonna cook it at least almost 90% of the way through on the skin side, then we'll flip it over, finish the cooking time, and it's done. This is definitely one of the secrets to keeping a really nice, juicy, moist chicken. So the secret to making the best burger is obviously starting with the best quality beef that you can get. This is actually a really good product. It's a little bit of sirloin, ground chuck, and a little bit of ground short rib. So it's got an amazing flavor profile already. We're gonna add a little bit of mix in. We have some dehydrated shallots that I actually smoked and a little bit of a porcini powder. So I'm just gonna add that in. I'm gonna season it with a little bit of salt and pepper and just gently mix it. You don't want to like tear that beef apart. You don't want it to get too firm on you. And we don't wanna squeeze it into a tight meatball because that's how your burger is going to taste. We wanna keep it a little bit on the looser side sort of use my fingers to spread it out a little bit. Somewhat round shape, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna go for a nice, rustic, flavorful burger. One little secret I like, adding a little bit of oil to a nice towel, and we're gonna rub that on the grill. So basically the burger, the piece of fish, nothing's going to stick to this at this point. So we're just gonna go right onto the grill, we put it in place, and we're not gonna move it around. We're gonna let it get nicely marked off, flip it once, let it continue to cook, and then we're good to go. The secret to the best baby back ribs is to start with a really good product. These are actually baby, baby back ribs, so they're a little smaller than the ones you'll normally find, but you can definitely get these at a local butcher. My secret is adding a yogurt-based marinade. We have a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, little cayenne pepper, and just a touch of cumin. So the yogurt that I'm using in this secret recipe is full fat yogurt, because we definitely don't want to skimp when it comes to my ribs. So once these are marinated, I'm gonna stick them in the oven at about 225 degrees for two and a half hours. We happen to already have some cooked off here, so we're gonna put it back on the grill after two and a half hours in the oven, and that's when we're gonna add our white barbecue sauce. The secrets to the best barbecue ribs you've ever had in your life, it's all in the sauce. This is my white barbecue sauce with whole egg mayonnaise, Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, and just a touch of pineapple juice. We're gonna baste them for about another five minutes or so till they're really nice and tender, and the white barbecue sauce is nicely caramelized. After you've basted one side, we're gonna flip it over and baste the other. Here at Post and Bean, we have our own vegetable garden. And that for me is like the key 
and one of my many secrets to having some of the best produce available. We also supplement everything from local farmers markets and from local farmers. We definitely try and buy as much sustainable product as we can and organic when possible. Today I'm going to show you a great way to make corn on the grill. Uh, so what I'm going to do is peel the husk down and we're going to remove all the silk from inside. Sometimes I'll use a little towel, just rub it around like so. The next step, we're just going to add a little bit of butter. We're just going to basically rub that into the ear of the corn. Then I'm going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. We use a lot of black pepper here at Post and Beam, so that's what we're going to use today. We're just going to take the husk and basically fold it and wrap it back around the corn and then to tie it up. So after it's tied up, we're just going to let it sit in a little bit of water for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then it goes right on the grill. We're going to grill the corn and turning it every five minutes. And after about 15 or 20 minutes or so, once the corn is fully cooked, we're going to cut off the string and it's ready to eat. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> I'm Govin Armstrong and you're watching Star Chef Secrets on Taste It. Be sure to click to subscribe. Ready for a breakfast of the completely insane? Have you heard of Belote? And why would you eat that? Learn the secrets to spicing up your cooking and cocktails with the two hot tamales. Knock your guest's socks off with the Dude Food Barbecued Jalapeno Burger. And how about the schnitzel sandwich? A South Philly take on Israeli food. Check it all out only on Tasted.